distinguished adventurers, welcome to the sketching hour. I am your host, Lauren. You might know me as Oboe. I am the content creator here at Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. And with me today is two amazing artists, uh, one of whom is a new special guest with us. Uh, but let us start with our returning champion, Michelle. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Michelle Papadopoulos. I'm one of the artists on Idol Champions, and I'm excited to draw today with our mystery guest. <laughs> and no longer a mystery, Ivy, would you please introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Ivy. I am an artist on Idol Champions, also one of the big fan of the sketching hour. I've become a success fan now. If you haven't seen Ivy's art, Ivy has done a bunch of amazing art in the game, but also we featured Ivy's uh, fan art from the sketching hour. And so Alexis is enjoying, in enjoying a well-deserved break. And we thought it would be amazing to have Ivy come on and join us. So let us pick our monster, our adjective, and our cute animal. Everybody got your D20s? Yep. I've pulled out my gold one for today. And let's, let's see what we end up with. Ooh. Okay. Uh, all right. So I believe, Ivy, you were going to tell us what monster do we have today? I got the 13, so it is gelatinous cube. Ooh, oh, gelatinous good. cube. Um, <laughs> and I am the adjective. I got an 11, which means it's a disheveled gelatinous cube. Okay, Michelle, what's your cute animal? I got a uh, 14, which is squirrel. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. I am... I am excited for whatever this is about to be. <laughs> All right. So for those of you who are new to the sketching hour, our two artists are going to take the monster, the adjective, and the cute animal and meld them together into some amazing piece of art. And okay. while they're doing that, I'll be chatting with the audience. We'll be coming up with a backstory for these creatures or why they exist, where they exist. We'll be coming up with some replacements for some of the creatures that we uh, that we use today so that we can keep our rolling lists fresh and new. Our artists are going to be using a program called Magma Studios, which lets them draw on the same canvas and also lets us watch what they're doing because I don't know about all you, but watching artists actually make art is half the fun. And we have our wonderful moderator, Sasha, in the chat today, who is going to be grabbing your questions. I try to keep an eye on chat as well, but uh, Sasha is here to be the amazing producer, moderator, backup to everything so thank you and first i i have to update the name of the episode uh to whatever it is this this is going to be called um so i think disheveled is going to go first disheveled is it a disheveled gelatinous squirrel is it a disheveled <laughs> squirrel cube is it a it sounds like a Cool, and it's the first one you said. A gelatinous squirrel? Gelatinous squirrel, yeah. Disheveled <laughs> gelatinous. Well, I'll put in gelatinous cube squirrel because I don't want to influence any of the art. So if you decide right. you want to do a cube squirrel, <laughs> if you would like to make a squirrel, if you'd like to make a Minecraft-like squirrel out of cubes, sure. <laughs> gelatinous cubes. That might be one of the longest titles we've ever had. Shovel gelatinous cube squirrel. <laughs> All right. That's like probably one of the weirdest ones we've done, I think. Yep. It is. It is going to be an interesting one, that's for sure. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, for those of you wondering what we've had in the past, uh, here is our art from last week, which was our bejeweled mind flayer mice, who are both adorable and scary. <laughs> um, and I know that. Uh, I'm kind of thinking about ways to use them in my D&D game, so. And we also had some fan art. We also had, come on, there we go. Banana Mobster is back from Twitter showing off their bejeweled Mind Flayer 
oh, uh, yeah. mouse. I think this is, so I think the ones you drew last week were mice sized, but this feels to me very much like a mind flayer so sized mouse. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, the mouth and tentacles area is, is horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, mouths usually are, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and and there is more. Our Discord got into the game, and we have both uh, both of these absolutely adorable drawings awesome. from oh our my. Discord. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. If, if you would like to join our Discord, here, I'm going to put it in the chat. Uh, it is discord.gg slash idle champions come by, where we talk about the game. We talk about... D&D, &D, we make amazing art like this, which is adorable, and all kinds of other fun stuff. Or if you join in and you post to social media, like our, our, our friend, the, the, the Banana Mobster, go ahead and tag us at Idol Champions or hashtag Sketching Hour and let us know because uh, watching what everybody comes up with is half the fun. But as our artists get started here... Uh, oh, Ivy, you're getting a lot of uh, welcome in the chat. Everybody's saying hi. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad to meet you guys. Aw. Well, hi. we're glad to have you. Uh, mm -hmm. And as you get started on uh, the disheveled gelatinous cube squirrels, which I hopefully will be better at saying by the time we're done, let's see if we can get some suggestions for updates to our rolling tables. So we've got a get a monster, an adjective, and a cute animal. Um, and let's see what we can do. I'm just pulling up the chat here. Hi, oh, everybody. Everybody's saying hi. Hi. Oh, and Ivy, you are a bit quiet. So if you can mm -hmm. either move your microphone a little bit closer and I'll try to turn you up as well. I'm also okay. just loud, so... How about now? Is it okay? That sounds better to me. <laughs> Bavarian is saying messy gummy squirrels. I mean, <laughs> that, that might happen. That, that might happen. Yeah, Jello. I, I think we're all, it's going to be a lot of Jello jokes in the chat today. I'm, <gasps> I'm definitely here for it. Uh, Danny Malroar suggests a blink dog for the new monster. I don't think we've got a Blink Dog on there. I know yeah, no, it's no. on my backup list. And so Blink Dog, awesome monster. Very cool. Also adorable. We've got a puppy. <laughs> and so um, I've got it on the list for our backup monsters, but I might have to wait until puppy gets picked on cute animals so we don't end up with dog dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've had to worry about, you know, horse horse or spider spider. <laughs> 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 it hasn't happened quite yet, but we're we're coming close. Uh oh, and now now the suggestions are fast and furious. Oh, Nick's in the chat. A hairy Modron caterpillar. Oh, is that are we Oh Nick, well if you're doing your own rolling, then I am excited to see your, your hairy Modron caterpillar. Uh oh, we have a lot of people just rolling in chat. Uh <laughs> all right. Herc work suggests a human for the monster, clothed for the adjective, and hedgehog for the cute animal. Do we not have hedgehog? <gasps> oh, that would be a really good we one. We don't have? We don't have no. hedgehog. Mm. Did we have it on our backup list? Well, it's now on our backup list. Hedgehog. How did we miss hedgehog? One of the most adorable animals. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um clothed could be interesting i'll add that to the list that might be one of those that um comes up and then we'll have to pick something else if we have a creature that's already clothed but i like the idea and then human for the monster i will ah we were joking beforehand that humans could be monsters or cute animals so we'll see uh Ankeg is on the list uh, number eight, Whimsical Leopard. So good, good suggestion. We've got it on there. Uh, a Lich for Craven More Blood suggests a Lich, which could be interesting. Uh, let me make sure 
I think Lich is on my previously. See, I have this whole list of other suggestions that people have come up with that um, I just kind of have in my back pocket so that when we turn over the list, I have a couple of things to to grab from. I think we chatted about the Lich last weekend. Or yeah. last week. The, the humanoids are hard. Those are, those are a hard one. Uh, Storyteller Mars says, Dog Dog is totally valid from the Greek legend of Orpheus. Yeah, yeah. Or a Cerberus. I mean, we could have a Cerberus on there and then end up with Dog 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 Dog. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say no to Dog Dog Dog. Alexis would love that. She loves dogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I still want to do the 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 hoof and wolf week. Yeah, yeah. That's still on my list. We're gonna do it. I just love the title. Uh, Cassius three three five mentioned crit fish yesterday, and I'm still trying to figure out crit as an adjective. So I think we've had legendary on there. It was uh, an adjective that came up on a previous show, and so that's probably how I would interpret it, but I'm also not the artist, so I don't know. Crit? Yeah, like like ro rolling a natural 20 on your uh, on your uh, d20. In D&D, &D, yeah. that is called a crit, because it's a critical hit. Uh, mm -hmm. It means awesome things happen when you are attacking. You get to do double damage. Right. Um, a lot of homebrew rules mean that if you roll a natural 20, whatever you're trying to do automatically succeeds. Mm -hmm. Although that is a homebrew rule. Uh, Danimal Roar suggests Panda for the cute animal. That's a... That might be a good one. I know we had just a bear on there, but specifically a panda could be fun. Yeah. Hmm. That would be a good one. Ooh, Luke McKay's in chat and, and has an adjective of scholarly. Ah. Hmm. I should be wearing glasses for that one. <laughs> scout, scout. Uh, I'm failing at spelling scholarly, but none of you can see it, so it's okay. Uh, let's see. Orion the Wise suggests Banshee. It's a monster, right? That is true. Banshees are monsters. Because, uh, yeah, we tend to stick to the D&D &D monster suite. So, um, yeah, Banshee could be cool. I know we've just got general undead in there, but having a specific could be interesting. Um, Eldalon, uh, bug-eyed as an adjective. <laughs> All right. Yep. Bug-eyed. <laughs> that would be fun. Going yeah. on the list. I like that one. <gasps> That's... So, human tooth and uh, bug-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> I was also thinking if you, if we end up with puppy and bug-eyed, that's how, that's how you get chihuahuas. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's how you get chihuahuas. Uh, let's see. Target number four suggests a gibbering mouther. I, I think that's on... Um, oh, no, I've got those. shambling mound. That's what it is. Let me add gib gibbering mouther. Yeah, those are cool. I like those ones. Those are definitely scary, scary creatures. Yeah. That will also be one of those monsters in where if we end up with... Hum or no, do we... Yeah, there it is. With teeth. <laughs> it's like, well, it's a gibbering mouther. It's got a yeah. lot of teeth. Okay. Uh, oh, with human teeth would be really extra creepy. I think we were going to do with human teeth, and then we decided on the actual adjective list to, list to just put with teeth yeah. so that uh, our artists could decide <laughs> in the moment what would be the best or most creepiest of teeth. Well, Although, I'll choose human teeth if that comes up. <laughs> oh, well, I appreciate that. Always go for human teeth for that extra yeah. horrific factor. <laughs> Or a Boston Terrier. That's right, Ted. Uh, Boston Terrier bug-eyed. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Irene UK says gentle push for bearded as an adjective. I've got oh. that on the list. I know you had suggested that. Yep, I've got I've got bearded on here. So that is yeah, that definitely a good suggestion. Oh, and we have a question from the chat. Uh, Zaniqua, who I believe... Hey, yeah! Thank you for your fan art, by the way. We really enjoy it. Um, asks, would you put hyena on the monster or the cute animal list? Ooh. Oh. Well, hmm? Hmm. 
I think I've got Noel on the monster. Yeah. So we've got Noel on the monster list. So I think I put Hyena on the cute animal list. And then we might up with Noel Hyena. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then we'd have to re-roll. I make that joke a lot about, oh no, what happens if we end up with two? We just re-roll. It'd be fine. Or, or the artist would say, nah, let us double down on the Hyena. And then it'd be fine too. That's... No rules on this stream. Pretty much. Or or if there are rules, they're ones that we break all the time and we don't care about as long as we're yeah. having fun. <laughs> yeah. It's it is much like a D&D game. There are rules. But the rule of cool is whatever we think will actually be the most fun. Yeah. Oh yeah, target number four says, or if you rolled Knoll and Grassy. I mean, yeah, that would be fun. Uh let's see. Whimsical Leopard wants to know if whimsical is one of the adjectives. You may be biased. I may be biased. I mean, that's totally fair. There's nothing wrong with that. Whimsical. How do I remember that one being mentioned? It's not on the list. Let me... Well, you know what? I'll, I'll just add whimsical and then... Because... My backup list is getting long enough at this point that if I spend too long looking through the backup list for if something is on there, that will be half the show, is me just reading through suggestions. Because fortunately, the chat is very good at giving suggestions, and we only go through three things a week. So... Ooh, Lacroida for a monster. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I know what that monster is. Uh, sh Shady Crafter. Um, another one that if we end up with a dog might be hard to parse, but I will add it to the list of monsters. <laughs> Cassius335 says, hang on, Nothic equals monster. Sadly, we've already used Gothic. Yeah, the Gothic Nothic. That could have been fun. The adjectives will probably get recycled faster than the cute monster, the cute animals or the monsters, because there's a finite number of adjectives, but we have yet to reach the end of a, a number of monsters or cute animals. It's every week we get a ton of them. So yeah, if you can come up with a new adjective, that more likely is going to end up on the list than anything else, because the cute animals, we have a ton. I always want more, but we always have a ton. <laughs> Dylan says, Nothics are just emo wizards. Okay, fair. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kinvrap says, for cute baby animalist, Garwar. <laughs> I mean, so we've had Garwar, Mars, and we've had uh, Sean... All suggested as both cute animals and monsters. <laughs> We've had them suggested oh, as just... names for creatures. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it comes up a lot. So I think I'm going to hold off in adding any of our real people to any of these lists until they say, add me to a list or make me an, a monster name. I think then. I think I need, I, I think I want permission and agreement from those people. Uh, oh, Andromech, didn't hear. Did you see my suggestion for Elmirage for a monster? It comes pre-cute. <laughs> I like that term, pre-cute. It, it comes already cute. And then we'd have to pick a cute animal as well, and then that'd be like, oh, cuteness overload, I think. <laughs> and then what if we end up with a bunny? We've got bunny on the cute animal list. We could have bunny bunny. Yeah. Well... I'm adding it to the backup list because you are right. Uh, the Almirage is adorable. Also, I need practice spelling it because I always put the J in the wrong place. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. So I now have... Um, Sean has given a add me to the list. <laughs> Garwar has said, I would be a monster, Lauren. Oh, well, you could also be a cute animal or an adjective. <laughs> draws Garwar. Uh, and Mars, add me to a list or make me a monster. Yes, yes, yes. Also, Trevor, put me on the list. Okay. I have consent from everybody. Just be like a list of people. <laughs> I love how they all want to be on the list. They don't want to be the names of any creatures. They just want to be on the list of... I gotta make y'all cute animals. I mean... 
Yeah, we need to the new list for the <laughs> who wants to get a become a monster. <laughs> Absolutely. Here we go. We're gonna do hoof and wolf week, and that'll be our cute animals. And then um, we'll list all of our our streamers, and that will be the names of these animals that we come up with. So it'll be a a horse puppy that is Garwar. That's how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Have a C and E people list. I mean, <laughs> that works. <laughs> Oh, and Cassius wants to add funny as an adjective, so we could potentially have funny bunny bunny. <laughs> <laughs> See, now you're all just suggesting things to make me say it, but I will add funny to the list. Sure. Oh, let's get back to the art. I get distracted looking at these lists and then realize that <laughs> Vaxim wants to know, is Chewinga pre-cute too? Yeah. 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 I mean, honestly, are any of the mons are any of the cute animals not pre cute? I would suggest that even some of the monsters come pre cute. Yeah, I think he said Chewinga. That's one of the monsters. I think. Yeah, Chewinga's on the list. So. <laughs> cute already. I mean, Wodes are pretty cute. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about giant spiders, but I do find some spiders are kind of cute. Flumps are cute. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're going to have spider horse one of these days, and then it's going to be oh. all the legs. It's going to happen. That would actually be a really fun one to do. Spider horse? Yeah. That is um, a, a real pre-fifth edition monster that uh, the lovely Megan Kenrick has become addicted to finding out more about. There, there used to be a creature called a spider horse. Oh. Imagine a horse with lots of legs. That would be pretty cool. It, it's pretty cool. I like it. I, I like it a lot. But it is also slightly horrifying because it depends on how scared you are by things with multiple legs, which I know is a thing for some people. For me. That you will... <laughs> I'm totally okay. You're okay. Okay. We'll have we'll have Ivy on for the week that we're just yeah. going to have all of the multiple legged creatures. Uh, we'll, we'll do a Halloween episode and it will be everything with, with legs and teeth. Yeah. Ooh, that's cool. Mm. How that I've said that out loud, I need to write that down. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, Edelon says from a dragon article, yes. Uh, Spider Horse was from a, a an old dragon article, one of, back in the days of actual physical newspapers and articles. Back in the day. Yeah, sleep is, is it Slepnir or Sleepnir is the uh Kansig is in the chat talking about the horse that Odin rides rides in mythology. I think it's Slepnir. Sure. I will look that up later. But yes, just like that, spider horse. Yes, Jay, definitely hold me to it. I'm sure I will forget in in about a day or two that I already said it out loud. So someone, someone remind me. S sleep near. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, Danimal Roar says, could imposing be an adjective? Ooh. Mm. Imposing. I mean, it's just as much of an adjective as is cake. So I'm going to write it down. <laughs> There we go. Imposing. All right. I, I think we've got a good list of stuff. I'll, I'll keep an eye on the chat for more if, if more suggestions come up for all three of these. But so far, our disheveled gelatinous cube squirrels are coming along very nicely. Uh, one is definitely goopier than the other, but I like both of them. I like that both of you have gone for the blue color scheme. The bluish greenish color scheme is that... Just so classic gelatinous cube that you had to go for this color. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, you know, as much as I like disheveled, if we had gotten gelatinous cube squirrel is cake, that could have been fun. This sounds very, very cute. Yeah, it could be a cake with like a jelly filling. <gasps> And then, okay, wait, wait, wait. How do you show off a jelly filling without it being 
horrific. How, without it being a piece, just gone from a creature. <laughs> I'd probably just cut out the piece, why not? <laughs> I mean, it's cake, so... Yeah. Well, but... it's a running cake or some bite cake. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I love that you've got the shine on your on your gelatinous cube already, Michelle. And and Ivy, I love how fuzzy your your um the tail is on the squirrel. Oh, <laughs> that is amazing. Um, while they continue to draw, if anyone has any questions, feel free to go ahead and put those in chat so that the wonderful mods can grab those. Um and. I am going to go check on those now because uh, a bunch of them have come up. Uh, Luke McKay was back suggesting Bearded, which, yep, has come up. We had someone suggest it before um, to make Garwar an adjective. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, if you're going to be Garwar and if you're going to have that impressive beard, that that is kind of the thing that is physically... I think people are going to gravitate towards. But, you know, Garwar has many other positive, wonderful qualities. Uh, Duvig says, not even nerdy nor artistic on the list as adjectives with this audience. <gasps> well, you know, we can we can always add those. Mm -hmm. Nerdy and... I mean, they could be nerdy and artistic. There you go. Added oh. to the list. Um, Cran Reunch, Cran, Cran Reunch. Do you have a dap? Do you have dapper as an adjective already? I don't think we have mm. dapper. I know we've got some other that are probably close. Yeah, I forget exactly what we had, but I mean, it would be the opposite of disheveled. So. I mean, basically, it's just an excuse for a top hat and a monocle, and I'm totally here for it. Dapper. <laughs> We're adding it to the list. Um, oh, here's a good question, which we always get this question, and if we don't get it from the audience, I eventually ask this question. If it's too early, let me know. Um, but Robaluki wants to know, how big are these creatures? Uh, Michelle, have you decided Ooh. what size your disheveled gelatinous cube squirrel is yet? Yeah, I think mine's going to be a large, like a big gelatinous cube sized Ooh. squirrel. Nice. And Ivy, how about you? I think my... Uh, this guy is my t very small and a s very cute. Aww. Yeah. And I gotta ask, so is this a squirrel actually riding a gelatinous cube or rising out of one? I imagine the writing kind of um, the supper on the slime. <laughs> oh, nice. I love it. I love it. All right, there you go. Two different sizes of these creatures. What, whatever we're going to call these creatures, um, we, we now have a variety of sizes. I love and how his feet are stuck in the gelatinous cube. It's cute. <laughs> That's how he mm. controls the gelatinous cube. He's, yeah. he's, you know, like like when you're riding a horse and you use your legs for a lot of the movement, a squirrel mm. is using, you know, just digging into that good, good gelatinous stuff. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Oh, King Tano, welcome. Welcome to the Sketching Hour. We are a show where two amazing artists and one person who talks a lot does a show in where we roll on some rolling tables and create a brand new creature melding together a cute animal, a D&D uh, &D monster, and an adjective into this art created before your very eyes. And while they're doing the art, I usually chat with the audience and come up with a backstory for this creature. And the question that I was just about to ask the audience, since uh, we're getting to the point where we've got some idea about sizes and what these creatures are looking like, what are we calling these creatures? Are these, are these gelatinous squirrels? Are these cubes? cube squirrels are they <laughs> <laughs> i mean gelatinous squirrel just works really well but there's got to be a much more creative answer to what the name of this new creature is uh Herkworks suggests gorl or slimer i do like gorl <laughs> animal roar <laughs> 
G Squizzle. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh, but it does. Okay. A long time lurker suggests a squidgy. Squidgy. Cute. I, these yes. Are, so these are the cute. These are the most adorable. Uh, Werewolf Kai suggests a squirrelatinous cube. Okay. <laughs> squirrelatinous. Squirrelatinous. That I was like that. that was really hard to say. Uh, <laughs> Storyteller Mar Mars suggests a jelly squib. Jelly jelly squib. Squeeby. Huh. <laughs> uh, so I'm I'm gonna take. I'm gonna say squib. I'm going to go with that. Uh, thanking, thank you, Counting Coup, for the Spider Horse song. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, some of these some of these are really good. Okay, Goral has to be on the list. Let's see. And then I'll, I'll keep taking suggestions here. A squidgy is pretty good. Ah, uh, that's, that's a solid name right there. Also, it's just fun to say. A squidgy. <laughs> and prolude. Trevor and Sean. I mean, those could be the names <laughs> of the creatures. Like, they're, they're proper names. But I think we're still looking for the name of this creature Ooh. in general. And you're like, look out for that squoob. As Storyteller Mars suggests. Or, or Duvig. Look out for that fluffy jelly. Fluffy jelly. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to eat fluffy jelly. That something's gone wrong. Yeah. <laughs> jelly is fluffy. That's very it's... evocative, and that is very much what these things are. I would not want to eat. It sounds very hairy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Jelly, gelatinous, should never have hair, but here we are with a squirrel, so I mean maybe it's maybe it's appropriate. I don't know. Uh, Andro Merck suggests a scientific name of. Oh, this is going to be hard. Scurious gelatinous. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I might not try to say that ever again, but I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna save it for later because that's also that's also very good. It is also real good. Fluffy jelly. All right, is fluffy jelly better than furry jelly? They're both kind of disturbing. <laughs> All right, chat. Are, would you rather have fluffy or furry jelly? And now we wait for the, the delay in the chat as they are. I, I almost kind of want to start a, a poll and see what's what's better. <laughs> Quote unquote, <laughs> fluffy or furry. Yeah, uh, Herkork, I agree. Both go in the trash. Both of them immediately. If if your jelly is either fluffy or furry, please remove from your refrigerator right away. Yep. <laughs> Counting Coup says, Ivy, your squirrel is gleaming the cube. That is <laughs> that is a reference. Holy mackerel. Uh, uh Andrew Merck says, if I'm eating something, it's gonna be fluffy, not furry. Uh that's that's fair. Uh Explit DLTD says fuzzy. I mean, these these are all wonderfully horrific things that Jello shouldn't be. There's <laughs> fluffy, furry, fuzzy. This, yeah, fluffy is whipped. Fluffy could be more of a whipped sort of thing. Fluffy cake, fluffy eggs. All mm. right, okay, that is that is fair. That yeah. is yeah, hairy. <laughs> ah, fluffy. Furry, hairy. I mean, it's a squirrel creature. Uh, oh, Loki Grommelry has the Greek word for square is platea or platea. So platea squirreliasis. Squirrel, squirrel. So welcome to the sketching hour, which is half... <laughs> Half watching amazing artists do amazing art and half watching the chat make Lauren say words she cannot say. <laughs> Welcome. So funny. I have I have been stumped. Oof. Remy the squirrel. Okay. We're gonna I've got a couple of suggestions that I like for what this monster is named. Now we need to know from the chat, how do you end up with a gelatinous cube squirrel who is 
also disheveled. What situation has created such a creature? What? I mean, the easy answer is gelatinous, gelatinous cube ate a squirrel. Poof. Disheveled gelatinous cube squirrel. But I, I know you, chat. I know you can come up with a more outrageous story than one ate the other and became the other. I, I am... I am looking forward. I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say. Everything is better with Squirrel Whip. Oh! <laughs> squirrel Whip was not something I wanted to think about today, and yet here we are. Uh, Garwar suggests that Michelle's was a cube that saw a squirrel and thought it was cute and wanted to be more like it. Oh! Aww. And so it's like struggling to hold itself in a squirrel shape, which is why yeah. it's it's dripping and disheveled. Oh. <laughs> Werewolf guy says it's an exchange program. There's a nutty cube living in the squirrel's tree. Oh. <laughs> uh, Storyteller Mars suggests when a gelatinous cube leaves the dungeon and moves into the forest, it takes on elements of its new home. Fuzzy, adorable elements. Ooh, I really like that. I like that it, it it gets adventurous and leaves the dungeon and then just like like a katamari picks up stuff along the the floor of the forest. And so these gelatinous cube squirrels uh, or or these squidgies <laughs> these squidgies are cubes that have become adventurous and have gone into the forest and and now are transforming into one of these creatures. Squirrel meets cube. Oh. Let's see. Oh, Kinravip, uh, Kinravip, uh, sorry, Kinravip, the one on the right, so Ivy's, chewed its way out of a cube, thus becoming the cube's master. Ah, <laughs> that's good. That's good. I like that. I like that because that's that's a, a, it's an inverse of what you would expect with a squirrel and a gelatinous cube and where one would eat the other, but the squirrel won. Mm -hmm. The squirrel absolutely won. It's the janitor for the forest area of the dungeon. <gasps> oh, Herkwork. This is funny. I, I, I don't... I want to come up with a real backstory for these specific creatures, but I really like your idea that it is a gelatinous... It's not a gelatinous cube at all. It's actually a mimic trying to impersonate one. Or a mimic trying to per impersonate a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> it's some other completely other monsters just like I am going to be a squirrel gonna be a squirrel well that makes sense that's a uh, mimic <laughs> yeah I mean that's what it's doing right yeah um I like that one where they mentioned it cleans up the forest because it's like a Roomba <laughs> it just like goes around the forest and <laughs> it's all the, like little whatever's <laughs> hanging out there I love I lo cleans so, it up so so now the question becomes, so in a dungeon, you've got, a, assuming most standard D&D dungeons, stone floors, stone wall, maybe wood. So it's pretty easy to decide this is dungeon, this is Detris I should pick up. When you get into the forest, that gets a little, little different. <laughs> uh, I mean, obviously there's like sticks and leaves and stuff lying about, but does, does a newly created squidgy need to learn what is and isn't to be picked up like does do the young ones learn that grass is not actually a thing it needs to clean up right yeah pick up do they, everything at the beginning maybe yeah it's trying to suck up everything like a hoover and eventually it's like no 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 leave leave the mud alone the mud yeah. is fine yeah it's like a toddler they eat everything <laughs> to teach them don't eat rocks oh <laughs> Sorry, now I was just picturing the the parent of this squidgy. <laughs> don't eat. No, 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 no. You don't. Yeah. See, now that rock is okay. But if it's a rock that's bigger than you, then you don't want to eat it. Yeah. See that tree over there? Don't eat the tree. Just like yeah, patiently. My... Oh. <laughs> uh, so Finder Gamer says, so I have to ask, is it just squirrel shaped and it still oozes across the ground? Or is it bipedal? Oh, mm. Michelle, I think this is a question for you. Does your yeah? Um, 
I would say I would like it to ooze across. So, but if that was the case, it would probably be in a different pose. I didn't really think about that when I chose the pose, but maybe it like shuffles. Let's say it shuffles. Or you've picked the perfect pose and this is exactly the pose that it oozes across the ground, which is oh, actually- maybe. yeah, it's just like a statue. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of creepy and I love it. Just- Maybe a slight shuffle, but mostly, yeah, just kind of slides. <laughs> Good uh, idea. Ryan Haydon says, a gelatinous cube was frozen by a spell and the mage chiseled the cube to its new form. When the cube mm. unfroze, it liked the new form and kept it. Still late the mage, cool. though. I mean, of course. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a pretty cool idea. That's true, Garwar. Um, the Dungeon Scrawlers game has a small gelatinous cube called Romba that cleans their place. They literally have a gelatinous <laughs> cube that is a, a Roomba. It is amazing. Uh, Definitely funny. watch Dungeon Scrawlers to see. Now, now if their Roomba would only turn into a squirrel shape, we could have a disheveled gelatinous cube squirrel. <laughs> we could have the crossover of the century. Yeah. That is a nice name. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Sean suggests, what if it rolled and constantly forms into a squirrel with every roll? I'm, I'm picturing like, as it's rolling, it's just this mass of jello. And then it, and then forms one of these two squirrels. And then it rolls again, and then becomes a squirrel. That's my mouth noises for the day. B. Dave, are you proud? <laughs> Beatboxing. <laughs> That's that's my D and D skills being put to use. Oh, I've <laughs> gotten behind on the official questions document. Thank you, Sasha. I really appreciate your help. Uh, let's see, Jacob, nineteen eighty seven. Do you have a Martin, Ermine, and or Mink on your list of cute animals? They're all pretty adorable. Uh, I know what a Ermine and a Mink are. I don't know what a Mar Martin is. Quick to Mart the Googles. M a r t e n. Oh. Okay, it's uh, they're like cute weasels. Okay, huh? All right. Um, I think we've got weasel. I know we've got weasel on the list. Yep, we got weasel on the list. But when weasel goes off the list, I think I think we'll go with mink. That's a that's a good idea, and it's different enough. Um, or I may have all three of them. Let's see. TTRPG gifts. How about a week with all cute monsters, but as sweet treats? So candy monsters. Oh, oh. that'd be fun. Uh, <laughs> and now I, I want to add to the is cake and just make um, is candy. <laughs> candy cake monster. <laughs> one could be an adjective. I don't know, I guess they don't fit in any other one. <laughs> I feel like by the time the show happens, we're all hungry. <laughs> like we all just, we need to have had lunch right before or right after the show. Cause there's, there's always so many food suggestions. Okay. Three o'clock is uh, close to the tea time. <laughs> it is yeah. about the time that I usually poke my head into Luke's office. And I'm like, so what are we doing for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> I know I just ate lunch, but I'm already thinking about food for dinner, especially uh, tonight as both of us have D&D &D games to go off to. So we're kind of, we're in advanced mode. We're in, I've got to think about what we're doing later now. Right. Yeah. You don't want to be hungry during a session. Yeah. Or, or you want to have food during a session. Uh, both of us are doing uh, offline, just private games. They're not streamed games, which means I can actually eat during the game. <laughs> I don't like eating on camera. Eating on camera is, it's not fun. No one wants to see the inside of my mouth when there's food in it. No one wants to hear that. It's, yeah. ugh, nah, not fun. Sorry, we got completely distracted by food. I mean, Michelle's uh, gelatinous cube squirrel does kind of look a little bit like a gummy. Like it maybe could, like, kind of a gummy that could eat me. Yeah, if I met that, especially since, Michelle, you said that yours is large, correct? Yeah. Yeah, that, that could eat me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I need to... Uh, X... X split... D, L, T, V, D. Did I get it? Okay. X split V, T, L, T, D. How many campaigns are you playing? Oh, that's a good question. 
Um, well, let me let me ask our artist friends. Are <laughs> either of you playing in any D and D campaigns right now? I'm currently doing the Cost of Sorkmash with my friends. Oh, nice. Yeah. And it is my first campaign, and I'm still doing that one. Um, the third one year. <laughs> nice. Welcome, welcome to uh, D and D. Are you the DM or are you a character? Are you a player? I'm just a player. Who are you playing? Mm -hmm. Are you? Um, what's your What's your race? What's your class? Tell us a little bit about your character. Yeah, my character is a monk. And now it's a level eight, and oh, she nice. is a uh, half elf, and loved drinking, and meets some friends, making some friends. Um, the new adventure, so yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I love playing monks. Monks are just—you get into combat and you just get to hit things like three billion times. Yes, it's great. That's amazing. And Michelle, I know this this question has come up before, but I will ask since maybe the answer has changed. Uh, are you in any D and D campaigns right now? Not at the moment. No, it's pretty busy right now. So this is true. You're in yeah. the middle of drawing a several gelatinous cube squirrel for everybody. <laughs> no, so, <yeah. laughs> and I am in a couple campaigns. I've got. Um, two games that are on stream. I've got a podcast game, and then I've got two to three other games that are just fun friends get together and play on a regular basis. And I say two to three because they tend to be ones that are every week to every other week because we're all busy. And so on a regular basis, a bunch of people can't show up. So it's a very kind of light hearted. One of them is very light hearted. The one I'm doing tonight. And then the, uh, I have a Saturday one and a Friday one. And those just kind of catch as catch can. All right. Anyway, back to questions from chat. Oh, I actually answered to that question. There we go. Uh, Cassius335 wants to know, what do G squirrels eat? Ooh, what do these creatures eat? Well, mine has a skull. I'm adding a skull in it so i think mine probably eats anything that it comes mm. in contact with human anything as garwar says anything that gets in its way basically yeah ivy do you have an idea of what your uh oh i forgot what we're calling these things hold on squidgy what your squidgy <laughs> eats <laughs> i Imagine he is eating just a normal nuts or some other bugs, Ooh. <laughs> I guess. It's just that he is using the slide by the kind of vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> Which is <laughs> vehicle? That's awesome. <laughs> I mean, driving a slime sounds amazing. If I could drive, yeah. if I could drive an actual gelatinous cube, I absolutely would. Can you can you think of the gas mileage that you would save? Like it'd be <laughs> it'd be amazing. Yeah. And yeah, if if these are creatures that are literally cleaning up the floor of the forest, I could see I could see it moving along the forest floor, picking up everything in its path, the stuff that the uh, gelatinous cube can eat, it eats and then it passes the rest up to the squirrel. And so it's a symbiotic relationship between the two. These are these are two creatures that have been melded through their symbiosis, through their their teamwork. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, using the cube to collect all the nuts. That's uh, Robluchi666 suggests. Uh, Banana Mobster wants to know if the cute animal week is hoof and woof. Would the monster week be claw and maw? Well, it is now. I mean, yeah, that's a pretty good one. How do I say no to claw and maw week? Woof and woof or claw and maw. Also, maw is just fun to say. Oh, I have an update from Jay from many minutes ago that I missed, but I'm seeing right now. Apparently, um, the creature that is the multi-legged horse that. Odin rides that I was unsure on the pronunciation of is pronounced Slapenir. Slapenir. 
S L A Y as a pronunciation guide. All right, learn something new every day. Awesome. I'm sure I'm still pronouncing that wrong. This is when we need Todd Kenrick, who is a giant uh, mythology fan and could tell me exactly what that creature was called. I'm sure they're somewhere right now very angry that I have said this wrong. <laughs> yes, Evil Emperor Zerg. Loki is its mom. That is... Go look up Norse mythology. It's it's fun. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> it's, it's very strange. Uh, but it's fun. All right. As we're getting towards the end of today's episode, I would like to remind you our lovely audience that this is not the only place that you can see fabulous art being done by amazing artists from this company you can find it on some other shows check out crusaders weekly with erica and cat and bushwhacker weekly with nick and georgia those are both two amazing shows by uh, people who are working on some of the other fine games at uh codename entertainment those are shows that are on thursdays and fridays and also on fridays Gretel Champions! If you like the art that you see in Idol Champions, come by on Friday and see that art made into pancake form. And lately, Sean and Lee have been including some of the art that we've been drawing here. So you might be seeing some of these fabulous creations in pancake form. And I am excited because... Because then we would have a creature that you could actually eat and we've been talking so much about these creatures being edible or hairy and not edible. And now they would be pancakes. <laughs> I'm amused by things. Uh, Cassius335 wants to know, how do I keep so many games in my head? Um, the characters help. I only DM one and a half of them, which helps. The DMing is the hard part. And I say half because one of the, the games that I'm in, we switch off DMing on a regular basis. So somebody takes over and it's kind of a mini campaign thing. So, uh, but yeah, it's it's not so bad when you're the player in a couple of games because you got your character sheet right there. And so if you forget what you're doing, you just look at your character sheet and go, oh yeah, today I'm the cleric. Oh yeah, today I'm the other cleric. I'm, uh, it's when you're DMing that it takes a little more work to do, but it's it's fun work. It's good work. It's I don't mind. It's great. Okay. In these last few minutes. Sorry, I got distracted by something in chat about Norse mythology. My bad. Last few minutes. We have... So we know that this is a monster that is called a squidgy. We have figured out how they are created and how they survive. What are we naming these creatures? I need, I need to know, uh, on the left and on the right, what are we naming them? <laughs> Garwar. The cube is coming. It, I'm sorry, I should probably be saying this in a squirrel-like voice. The cube is coming. It shall cleanse the world. But all anyone hears is squeak, squeak. <laughs> yeah. <Aww. laughs> That's adorable. The cube is coming. It shall... Yeah. It's like a little sign holding up. <laughs> uh, anxious Vet suggests squealos. Uh, Sly Thera says Squiggles and Bob. I mean, I'm always a fan of Bob as the name of a creature. Yeah. Uh, Cassius335 suggests the right one is Harold. Hmm. Sp spelled like the Harold of something, not the Harold. Uh, Danimal Roar suggests Doodle the Squirrel on her Mount Gummy. Aww. Uh, Shatil80 says Jello Glider. Ooh. Oh. That's actually kind of epic sounding. Yeah, this uh, sounds good. Yeah, Andromex says Morpheus and Lint. Uh. <laughs> Ryan Hayden, knock knock. May I ask you if you've heard about our lord and eater, Gelatinous Cube. Gelatinous Cube. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's, that's what these creatures are out doing, is they're out talking about the good word of, of Squiggies. I kind of like Squiggles and Bob, but I'm a fan of, I mean, Bob just makes me, it just brings me joy. Um, Prolude says Squirrel Cube 1. Uh, Luke suggests Chip, but spelled C-H-Y-P-P. -P. 
<laughs> and oh, Chip and Dale, D A E H apostrophe L E. That took me way too long to figure out. <laughs> uh, and uh, Sigma T J says Toe Jam and Earl. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh I, I remember that game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's yeah. And then Safe Two suggests Hazel Bob and Acorn Bob. I think those are. I've got Watership Down on the brain, so now I'm thinking about rabbits instead of squirrels. But I do like that. Yeah, Chicken Chippendale is kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Have any any of those names jumped out at either of you? Um. Blob. Chippendale is funny, but <laughs> Chippendale is funny, but trying to spell that is always a challenge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we had Morpheus. We had uh, Doodle and Gummy. That's cute. We had Gwirl and Slimer, Foamy, Squiggles, Harold. Oh, this is a tough one. I know <laughs> this one's hard. I mean, I, I do kind of like uh, Doodle and Gummy. That's yeah, good. Yeah, those I think are mm -hmm. sticking out in mine, too. <laughs> Dribbles and Sky Captain. Okay. <laughs> All right. The left one is Dribbles. The right one is uh, Doodle. There we Aww. go. I've made yeah. it an executive decision. We've got Doodles and... Um, I've forgotten what I said already. Oh no! Uh, dri dribbles. Dri dribbles. Dribbles. Dude. Yep. <laughs> There's just as as I even look. So we got dribbles and uh. And uh, let's we'll see. <laughs> doodle. That's dribbles and doodle. Yeah, there you go. I'm dribbles writing it down so I don't forget. Dribbles and doodle because I like the alliteration of two D D names. So mm -hmm. dribbles and doodle, the squidgies. Look at them. They're adorable. All right. These are amazing. Thank you so much for joining us on this art venture with us. And before we go, I always like to ask our lovely artists, starting with Michelle, where can we find more of your amazing art? Um, I'm on Instagram at Michelle Papadopoulos and Twitter at um, Art of Michelle. And special guest joining us for their triumphant, triumphant first time here on the Sketching Hour. Ivy, where can we find more of your amazing art? Um, I'm on Twitter at Ivy Diplom, as you can see the spelling right down by portrait. <laughs> and a lovely portrait that you drew, right? Yes, I did. Yeah. And uh, also, both of these artists are artists on Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. So play the game. Enjoy some of their art. You can find me as Obaloran. I don't have any art. I just like to admire it. Uh, thank you so much to everybody in the chat for joining us on this gelatinous, disheveled adventure. Thank you uh, to our moderators, uh, especially Sasha, for being our main moderator and producer and person who has to deal with the fact that I look at the chat and I pull stuff from chat and they're trying to also pull stuff from chat. So thank you. And as always, we will see you next encounter. Bye. Bye. Thank you very much. Coming. Bye. Bye.